Alright, this is a mod demonstration to demonstrate. Uh, Alright, this is a modification demonstration which is going to teach you how to get rid of these crappy, weak little CFLs and get one of these insane LEDs hooked up to your system. You can see right there, the brightness is a huge factor. So, we're going to start out by unplugging the cabinet. And let's just go right ahead and disconnect that little connector right there. Not sure what the name is for them. And honestly, I don't care. A little bit difficult to one hand this. Now you're going to have to be very delicate with these CFLs, or yeah, because quite obviously they're very fragile compared to the Transformers boards. Oh, shit. I'll just set that aside and peel off these little mounts here. Because you never know if someone could want to buy them off you. Or you may want to repurpose them to something else. Or hell, you could just back out of this. Let's go ahead and screw that back down. Better to just leave them in there than to throw them away. You're just going to want to take some Windex or some crap. One quick little spurt. Give yourself a nice clean surface. There. Now. Get this off of here. And just use a pair of fingernail clippers. Leave yourself a little bit of extra wire in case you want to reuse it or sell it along with your little transformer and CFL. Go ahead and take this up, strip out some of the wire. Probably not the best tool for the job, but I like it. So, fuck all of you if you got a problem. Just gotta be delicate not to cut through. of LEDs. I've already installed one over there as you can see and I just come in these little strips from superbrightleds.com ordered specific colored ones for every individual arrow primarily four blue, four red, and two yellow Now then, do a quick strip on this. Youch. You don't have to use this specific one, just as long as it's a 12 volt DC, it should work. I chose these because they've got a much wider viewing radius to color the full arrow, instead of just a spot at the middle. Which obviously looks a lot better.
Now then, we're just gonna twist these together. Very simple. And do the same for the lead. secure with some electrical tape because you certainly don't want a 12 volt discharge going through your pad it will fry all of your electronics all your PCBs and everything there's not a guarantee that would happen but it's a possibility, and that's something I would never risk with this. Especially if it could discharge into you. Shouldn't need this much electrical tape, I'd say. I don't know, probably a good two inch strip would do ya. Then again, you are gonna be kicking the living hell out of this thing. Now, let's try to do a triangle formation. Oh. you got your little area clear you got your little triangle here you're gonna want to peel off the adhesive from the rear of it and just flatten it down nice and secure just hold it there about four or three seconds now for this I'm gonna be leaving all these three connected so I can just make sure it's powered nicely and hopefully this won't blind me too badly. Cabinet's now plugged in. Should be coming on any second. Ooh wee. Damn. Alright, yeah, that was nice and bright. It's probably brighter than the subwoofers. We'll find out. Too bad. Now then, after you've tested, well, you don't have to test for every last one, but as soon as you confirmed that you have a nice secure connection, you're going to want to go ahead and cut that wire about halfway through. What the hell am I doing? I got tweezers or uh, fingernail clippers right there. Alright. 